Welcome to the Afternoon Doodle with me, John Hendrick. Today's episode, Watercolor Seascapes. Hello, fellow artists. This is uh, John Hendrick here for today's uh, Afternoon Doodle. Um, in lieu of uh, spring break upon us, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something a little bit different. Uh, we'll be doing watercolor seascapes. It's a very simple process to create something like this. Okay, so for today's assignment, you will need a watercolor set. You will need some Sharpies, a cup of water, some paintbrushes, and tape, and a towel. All right, and a pencil wouldn't hurt, at least for one second. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as I began, I'm going to wet my brush. Actually, even before that, I probably should add the horizon line. I'm not doing it quite in the middle, I'm doing it a little bit lower than the center of the page. Now I'll wet my brush. So, we're going to be going from a blue to a pink, to an orange, to a yellow. So I'm applying a lot of water and a lot of paint at the same time. You want it to be very wet so the paint kind of blends together. Once you do the first you know, a couple of inches of the page with blue, Clean off your brush, and then grab either a purple or a pink. Um, notice how I'm going back and forth between the blue and the pink. Uh, I'm trying to make sure these colors blend together nicely, and I'm using quite a bit of water. Clean your brush off nicely, and then you can switch to the orange. So what should happen if your paint is wet enough is that the colors should blend together naturally. You will have to go back and forth a few times. Once you're happy with the orange, you can switch to the yellow. You want to keep those brush strokes long and bring them up the page as you go, mixing the yellow with the orange. You may have to go over it more than once, but always keep your brush wet so the paint will blend evenly. For the sake of time, I'm going to speed up this section of the video, so sit back and enjoy as I try to blend my colors. Once you're happy with this, you'll simply be doing the opposite from that horizon line downward. So what I mean is you'll start with the yellow and then slowly flow to orange, to pink, to blue, thereby creating a reflection. All right, now, while I wait a few minutes for the watercolor to dry, I'm going to go over quickly how to draw a very simple silhouette of a palm tree. And I have it right here. Okay, so to draw a very simple palm tree, all you have to do is this. You start with one line coming up, then you have a second line. It starts a little bit thicker and then it gets thinner. Okay, so then from the top of that, I'm going to have, you know, six or seven lines coming off of that first line. Think of it like, almost like spider legs. I'm curving them downward, okay? Next, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna make lines curved coming off of that first line. After that, if you wanna switch markers, you can use something a little bit thinner to sort of combine them together. So I'm thickening, thickening them up and uh, bringing them together here. Now this is just one way to create palm trees. I'm sure there are dozens of others. Feel free to research on your own. 
Um, but again, I'm just trying to pick a simple, quick one that will work for this watercolor. So don't forget to fill this main trunk in. Want, you could actually make little sections too. If you want to kind of bring it up and out and back in, that could add interesting texture to your palm tree. But again, not necessary. Like I said, there's tons of ways to do this. Okay, so there you have it. A very simple palm tree silhouette. All right. Now, a watercolor should be dry, so let's get back to that. Okay, now it's time to apply the palm tree that I just showed you how to draw. First things first though, on the horizon line, start at the horizon line and slowly curve your line upwards towards the edge of the page. This will help uh, to create an island in the background. Then do the same thing in the front. Now, using the tutorial from the previous scene, um, create your palm tree. Start with two lines that get slowly closer together towards the top. Add a couple of those spider legs, and continue from there. So if you just went over this, I'm going to fast forward this section of the video. But don't, don't forget, you want to fill in the whole entire section in black. Now, for a final optional step, you may want to incorporate some white highlights. Some watercolor kits come with some white paint in it, uh, but if you don't have that, you can use any other white paint. You can use a, a, a white colored pencil, a white oil pastel, heck, even whiteout could work for this. Um, you want to add a couple of lines in the water, um, and if you want, you can add um, a semicircle in the back on the horizon line to act as a sun. When you're finished, you can wait a few minutes and then take the tape off. Well, there you have it. A quick, easy way to create a watercolor seascape. A couple of words of advice for the end here. Don't forget to keep your paint wet while you're working so you get that nice blend. Don't forget to wait for it to dry completely before you start with the uh, Sharpie silhouette process. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this afternoon doodle. This is John Hendricks saying aloha. How do I look? Are you having glasses? Yes. <laughs> Are you having regular glasses? Oh yeah. <laughs>